Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. As an Azure administrator, you might come across a scenario in which a regular user might have changed their phone number, which has been enabled for multi-factor authentication. And you want this ability to go inside the Azure portal as an Azure admin and change that to the new phone number so that that user can authenticate against that new phone number that he has received. So let me show you how you can achieve this. So I'm logged in into this Azure portal and I have the global admin access as well as I'm the owner of the subscription. I'm going to go to Azure Active Directory and uh, let me go to the Users tab. Now for this lab, I'm going to use Vijay as an example. Now, first of all, what I want to do is I want to enable the multi-factor authentication because I just want to show you from the scratch how the flow going to be. So I'm going to go to this tab per user MFA. And I'm going to select this. So right now you can see that the MFA is disabled. Let me just go and enable this. So multi-factor authentication was enabled for this user. Now let me go back to the Azure portal and I'm going to go and expand this user and under manage you see I have the authentication method. Now in this example, uh, I don't have any phone number. So in your case, you might be already having a phone number and he uh, has changed the new phone number. The flow going to remain same. So say assuming that he has this older phone number which you'll see over here and he want to change it. You just need to edit it and uh, change it to the new phone number and go to save. But let me just show you from the scratch. So I'm going to put the number here. and you just need to save this settings. So you can see that the uh, authentication method was updated. So I can close this at this time and I'll show you how the flow going to be when now Vijay try to log in. So I'm going to log in with the credentials of you, Vijay now. And you see it is now asking me to authenticate against this phone number. So I'm going to select this. And I have received the code which I'm going to input now. And here we go. I am logged in into the Azure portal with my credential. And in this case, assuming that uh, it has been changed to the new phone number that I've received, and I can go obviously go and remove the other phone number. So hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.